The Powerful Development Team was created to give teachers an opportunity to enhance their leadership skills and take on leadership roles without leaving the classroom. Teachers work with administrators on building a cohesive team, developing an instructional action plan for the school year, and establishing a communication plan to convey the instructional focus to staff. Teachers also selected individual initiatives to work on that aligned with the steps in the action plan. An added bonus was the administrative team also had a chance to select initiatives that they wanted to work on, and they participated in the same learning experiences as the teachers. The Powerful Development Team volunteered the majority of their time in the summer before and after school. The team participated in a book study, professional development workshop, team building activities, action plan discussions, and feedback sessions, and grant writing. My role on the Powerful Development Team was to create a program that provided instructional support for teachers by teachers. The initiative that I was responsible for was peer collaboration. The peer collaboration program provided teachers with the opportunity to work and share instructional strategies. My initiative, Peer Collaboration, has had a positive impact on St. George's. Prior to implementing the program, teachers were hesitant to provide and receive feedback from their peers. Teachers feared that when teachers came into the classroom to observe them, that they would be judged rather than supported. With the implementation of peer collaboration, an environment was created that allowed teachers to collaborate and develop the relationships necessary to utilize honest feedback to inform instruction. As a teacher, I feel as though peer collaboration is key to being a successful educator. This year, the St. George's staff participated in a professional development that allowed us the opportunity to observe different content areas. The math teachers observed the science teachers and the history teachers observed the English teachers. Now, if you ask me my first year I taught, if this would have been useful, I probably would have said no, because as a math teacher, I feel there is no use in the science curriculum. In reality, this though has been the best professional development I have ever received. Not only did I get to observe and adopt an array of teaching methods, strategies, and formative checks, but it also made me realize how close the science and the math curriculums are aligned. Mr. Comagy's Peer Collaboration Initiative has brought all teachers together and has allowed our school to share ideas across different contents. Given the opportunity to lead the development and implementation of the Peer Collaboration Program has been extremely valuable. The bottom line is that Anyone can read about leadership, anyone can study about leadership, but it's not until you are put into the position to manage others do you truly understand what it takes to be a leader. This team gave me the opportunity. This team gave me the opportunity to lead and through that experience I was able to further develop my leadership skills. As a member of the PD team, my role was to help develop professional development for the school year and write the recent grant. I do not see myself as an individual on the PD team. More than anything, I'm a small part of many blocks that help to build St. George's up as a school. My initiative focused on infusing literacy strategies into the CTE areas. The CTE teachers that I worked with received some PD and strategies that could be used in the classroom to address the complex texts that their career areas require. I was fortunate enough to participate in some professional development classes uh, with one of our English department teachers, Krista Okocha. And Krista offered me the, these practical tools that I could use with my students. One being Webb's depth of knowledge, close reading assignments. With these assignments, I was able to introduce vocabulary and text content that was much more challenging than uh, the average because it had to do with anatomy and physiology and nursing technology, which is a separate language that my students needed to learn. I just want to say that I really appreciate Mr. Reynolds for creating the PD team. Being a part of the team has given me opportunities and insight that I would not have received as a classroom instructor. Personally, his support has allowed me to make informed choices about what I want to do professionally. It seems like the seeds that he has sown in the teachers on the PD team will reap a harvest for many years to come. I supported Mrs. Akocha's literacy initiative. My participation on the team has helped me reflect on my leadership style. In addition, it has helped me be aware of my weaknesses and ways to improve them to help the team as well as the school grow. 
I led the effort to strengthen our senior curriculum to be sure our seniors have quality experiences in their career areas and also opportunities to co-op. As always, experience is the best teacher. The experience of being on the Powerful Development Team has strengthened my collegial relationships and helped me understand how critical professional development is to the success of any initiative. I co-led the implementation of a year one response to intervention program with our administrative intern, Mrs. Christine Schumacher, and social studies instructor, Mr. Justin Comages. I'm a firm believer that experience is the best teacher. The experience that I gained as a member of the Powerful Development Team strengthened my collegial relationships, enhanced my instructional dialogue, and sharpened my critical lens towards school reform. I was tasked with the initiative of developing a kind of a growth mindset committee, um, multiple ones in fact, where I was in charge of a student-led group called the Hawk Outreach Team. And I also had the opportunity to work with a teacher-led uh, committee and we focused cohesively and collaboratively to develop all kinds of activities themed around the growth mindset. We wanted to ensure that all of our students, particularly the ninth grade, had the knowledge and the skills necessary to maintain a growth mindset. Collectively, we've developed multiple workshops, in addition to staff socials, interactive presentations, and activities that we deliver to our ninth grade students. I feel as if the Hawk Outreach Team has helped me and others that go to this school right now by giving the freshmen an opportunity to go through freshman workshops, which basically gave them brain exercises and gave them the information about the clubs and different sports that we provide here at St. George's. Also giving the upperclassmen and lowerclassmen a bond that not many other people get to do in this school. With the Hawk Outreach, we're able to establish new traditions. Uh, I love the Hawk Outreach because I love working with the people and I like being able to see something like a small project created, created into a large project that can have a lasting impact within our school. Now there's many things that I've been able to take away from the Powerful Development Team and that is just the leadership part itself. Um, I was able to learn skills to effectively lead um, those that completely volunteered their work and I couldn't have done all the initiatives this school year without their hard work and their dedication. I also learned the skill to continue as well to maintain a growth mindset. And I've always felt like I've had the growth mindset in me, but the continuing learning process of what is the growth mindset, what part of the brain does what, and the activities that we developed with the kids and the feedback that we got back from our peers and our kids have really allowed me to believe that this is the route that all schools need to go and that we are making a difference for all of our students. As a member of the Powerful Development Team, I wanted to take on an initiative that would challenge me. So my initiative for this year was to start an after-school SAT program. Uh, I worked with five academic instructors to create a program where our students would stay after school on Wednesday for two hours and get tutored to prepare for the new SAT. It really helped the students to, to prepare for the SAT, I think, that we just recently took. Um, talking to some of the students, they said it was a huge help just to get our, their mindset straight. Um, and just to see, talking to some of the seniors, how different it was from the old SAT to the new SAT. It really helped them uh, think about what they really needed to study and just develop those study skills, those time management skills that are very important when working on the SAT. Or how this developed me as a leader, it actually took me out of my comfort zone. I think that's one of the key elements of becoming a leader. You, you gotta be able to, to take on a role of different things. You can't always be comfortable. And this really did challenge me, being a CT instructor, I don't get to drive much into the academic realm, but this challenged me to walk out of CTE, work with uh, the math department and the English department mainly, and uh, just take a new perspective on what we do here at St. George's. I really enjoyed being a part of the Powerful Development Team this year. It really helped me learn more about working with different types of people, and the professional development that we received as a team helped to increase my own leadership skills. It was a wonderful experience working with both teachers and administrators side by side in order to inform the instructional focus at St. George's. I've had the opportunity to be involved in several initiatives with professional development for both this school year and working with the Re-Imaging Professional Learning Innovation Grant for next school year being the ones that I was most involved with. There's been no other committee or program uh, that I've been a part of over the past years where teachers are not only a part of the decision making, but they're also able to take their own ideas of how to ensure that all teachers and students learn and grow each day and really make an impact with their initiatives. 
The powerful development team had an impact on our school community. The initiatives that were developed and executed directly aligned with our school vision, which is to ensure all students and teachers learn and grow. The team learned a lot about what it takes to be a leader and what components are needed to have a healthy organization. As a team, we developed an instructional focus and action plan for next school year. We also successfully wrote a grant that will provide our school with $30,000 for school-wide professional development next school year. I'm very proud of what the team has accomplished, and I'm looking forward to continued success and expansion of the program.